the cash difference between the selling prices of an article at a profit of 4% and 6% is rupees 3. The ratio of the selling prices is. First of all, let us assume that the cost price of this article be x rupees. Now we have one of the selling prices of this article at a profit of 4%. So let's term this as P1 which is equals to this cost price increased by 4% which is 100 plus 4 percent of x. So 100 plus 4 upon 100 x. So this is actually equal to 104 x upon 100. Now we have another selling price which is 6 percent increase in the cost price. So let's term this SP2. SP2 is equals to 100 plus 6 upon 100 which is 6 percent increase in the cost price. So this is 106 x upon 100. Now what is asked is the ratio of these two selling prices. So SP1 upon SP2 is basically what is asked. So this is equal to 104x upon 100 upon 106x upon 100. Hundreds get cancelled out, x get cancelled out. So we have 104 upon 106. So we can divide both the numerators and denominators by 2. We get 52 divided by 53. So this is 52 is to 53. So the ratio is this. So our option is option 2. We did not make use of this anyway. So that's good. A cloth merchant sold half of his cloth at 20% profit. Half of the remaining at 20% loss and the rest was sold at the cost price. In the total transaction, his gain or loss will be. So, first of all, let us assume that there is 100 centimeter of cloth and which is bought at 1 rupees per centimeter. Okay, the cost price per centimeter is 1 rupees. So, we have this 100 centimeter of cloth. Now, on the top of this cloth, I'll be writing the cost prices and on the bottom, I'll be writing the selling prices. So this cloth merchant sold half of his cloth. So the half of this cloth will be approximately this left half. So the cost price will be of course if you divide 100 centimeter by 2 you get 50. So this cost price of the first half will be 50. Now he is again dividing the half of the remaining half. So again this is divided into half. So this cost price will be 50 is half which is 25 and the remaining will also be 25. Now the first half it is said that is sold at a profit of 20%. So this cost price increased by 20%. So I have 50 plus 20% of 50. So 20 upon 100 times 50. Now half of the remaining will be sold at 20% loss. So this cost price decreased by 20%. So 25 minus 20% of this cost price. So minus 20 by 100 of 25. Right? And the remaining was sold at cost price. So this is at cost price. Remember this is cost price and this is selling price. So the total cost price is 50 plus 25 plus 25 which is 100. And the selling price is basically let us calculate this out. 50 plus 20 percent of 50 is we can just cancel these zeros so 50 plus 10 which is 60 this is 25 minus 20 by 25 so again cancelling out zeros 2 5s are 10 and 5 5s are 25 so 25 minus 5 is 20 and this 25 so the selling price is equal to 60 plus 20 plus 25 so 60 plus 20 is 80 plus 25 is 105. So there is an increase in 5%. Selling price is an increase in 5% of the cost price. So if you still uh, don't understand, we can calculate the profit percent. Profit percent is equal to profit. Selling price minus cost price. 105 minus 100, which is 5 upon 100 times 100. So this is 5% increase. So this is 5% gain. Option C is the correct answer. 
Raj buys four horses and nine cows for Rs. 13,400. If he sells the horses at 10% profit and the cows at 20% profit, then he earns a total profit of 1,880 rupees. What is the cost of a horse? Okay, let us assume that the cost of a horse is X rupees per horse and the cost of a cow is Y rupees per cow. Now we have been given the complete cost price of four horses and nine cows, which is 13,400. So I can write 13,400 is equals to cost price of all the horses plus cost price of all the cows. So the cost price of all the horses is equals to 4x plus the cost price of all the cows is 9y because there are 9 cows and each cow costs y rupees. Now we have this one equation. Let's put it equation 1. Next we have been given the total profit. So the total profit can be termed as the sum of profit on horses and the profit on cows. Now we have been given how much profit we have on horses. It is the 10% profit and on cows we have 20% profit. So this is equal to the profit on horse is 10% of the cost price of horses. So 10% of 4x plus we have 20% of 9y and it is equals to the total profit is 1880. So 2 twos are 4, 2 fives are 10 and again 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. So we can rewrite this as 1880 is equals to 2 by 5x plus 9y by 5. And that, that can be written as 2x plus 9y is equals to 1880 times 5 is 9400. So 9400. This is equation 2. So equation 1 minus equation 2 we can get rid of y and get the answer of x. So 9y and 9y get cancelled out. 4x minus 2x is 2x is equal to 4000. So x is equals to 4000 by 2 and that is 2000. The cost of each horse is 2000 rupees. A pair of articles was bought for rupees 37.4 at a discount of 15%. What must be the marked price of each of the articles? Well, let me first tell you that marked price is nothing but the selling price. Now you can solve this question. So let us assume that this selling price be X rupees. Now discount is always calculated on the selling price. So I can write discounted price is equal to the selling price minus the discount, right? So the discounted price is already given to us, which is 37.4. So 37.4 is equal to the selling price, which is X minus the discount. And the discount is calculated on the selling price. So the discount is 15% of the selling price. So 15 upon 100 X. Now we have 37.4 is equals to 100x minus 15x gives you 85x. So 85x upon 100. So I have x is equals to 37.4 times 100 divided by 85. Therefore x is equal to when you solve this you get 44 rupees. Well you might mark the answer as 44 rupees but that's not the correct answer. See what is correctly given in the question. This is the mark price for the pair of articles. So X is 44 for pair. So for each article, this will be equals to a pair means two articles. So divided by two, 44 by two, that is 22 rupees. So the mark price for each article is equals to 22 rupees.